In this project, we will numerically simulate the electrochemical process which happened inside a fuel cell using ANSYS Fluent software. A fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that converts the chemical energy of a fuel, often hydrogen, and an oxidizing agent, often oxygen, into electricity through a pair of redox reactions. Fuel cells are different from most of the batteries in requiring a continuous source of fuel and oxygen to sustain the chemical reaction. Fuel cells can produce electricity continuously for as long as fuel and oxygen are supplied. The fuel cell used in this simulation is a type of polymer electrolyte member fuel cell. The model consists of two main cathode and anode segments, which of which has four layers, including a flow collector, a flow channel, a gas distribution area, and a catalytic section. And the space between the anode and cathode layers are filled by the polymer membrane. In addition, since in fuel cell modeling various types of gases react, the species transport module is also automatically activated in the simulation. The hydrogen gas enters the anodic channel inlet and the oxygen species enter the cathodic channel inlet to allow the corresponding reaction to occur in the fuel cell and the polymer membrane is the pathway for the gas species to pass through. Flow collectors are made of solid material uh, with thermal energy sources and electrical potential. The flow channels carry a mixture of gaseous species including oxygen and hydrogen and water. The catalytic part consists of a porous medium with a porosity coefficient of 0.5 and contains mass sources, thermal energy, electrical potential, proton potential, saturated water, hydrogen, oxygen and water. The gaseous diffusion zone comprises of a porous medium with a porosity coefficient of 0.5 and contains the mass sources, thermal energy, electrical potential, saturated water and hydrogen, oxygen and water gaseous species. The polymer membrane region also consists of a porous medium with a porosity coefficient of 0.5 and has thermal energy sources and proton potentials. Also, since the water content within the model must be zero, a fixed value is used to define the value of water equal to zero. The purpose of this study is to investigate the fluid behavior and thermal conductivity of a polymer fuel cell and its effect on the mass fraction of gaseous species and the amount of electricity produced in the cell. The three-dimensional geometry of the present model is designed by Design Modeler software. The present model has a symmetrical structure and consists of nine regions of seven specific fluid zones, including cathode and anode flow channel, cathode and anode gaseous region, cathode and anode catholic domain, and, and polymeric membrane, as well as two solid zones. The solid zone consists of a cathodic and anodic current co collector. The mesh of the present model is carried out by ANSYS meshing software. The mesh tab is structured and the element number is 142,000. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, a new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Uh, also by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluid software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality and etc. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. 
Now in the PR window, which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. Now there are several assumptions taken into account in this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is set to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Also, as for the velocity formulation, we have taken the absolute formulation for this. And as for the time study, we have selected the steady time study since we didn't want our results to be a function of time. As you can see, after double clicking on the energy button in the appeared box, we have enabled the energy equation since we want to uh, account for the dist for the temperature changes in our computational domain. After double clicking on the viscous model in the appeared window, you can see that we have selected the laminar since our fluid flow entering our computational domain does not have a high Reynolds number and therefore they are not in a turbulent state. As was previously mentioned about having different gaseous and chemical species in our model, we can see that by double clicking on the species, we have enabled the species transport model. Also under the mixture properties, you can click on edit button and in the appear window, change the mixture materials. Also, it should be pointed out that in this intermediary window, you can see the properties of the mixture. For example, you can see that we have set the density of this mixture to abide the ideal gas law. After double clicking on the fuel cells and electrolysis button in the appeared window, you can see that we have enabled the enable fuel cell nodules option under the model tab you can see that we have enabled the model PEMFC and under the option you can see that we have enabled the options of dual heating, reaction heating, electrochemistry sources, butler volmer rate and membrane water transfer. Now dual he heating option indicates resistant heating, reaction heating option indicates energy generated in the chemical reaction, ultra volmer rate option determines the amount of flow transfer in catalytic layers, membrane water transport option is the amount of water transfer through the membranes, and a multiphase option is used for cases where fluid transport between the gas permeable layer is estimated. The source terms in the potential equation are obtained by the following equation. In these two equations, J ref denotes the reference current density, and in each equation you can see in the first parenthesis. Uh, in which there is a fraction and that fraction has a numerator of bracket hydrogen over the denominator of bracket hydrogen reference which these two respectively represent the local gas species concentration and the reference concentration gamma denotes concentration exponent alpha denotes the exchange coefficient and F denotes Faraday constant which is equal to 9.65 E7. The values of these parameters are entered in the software for both cathode and anode section. These values are entered in the software as follows. In the tab settings for anode and cathode in the fuel cell module, areas related to building a fuel cell must be defined using the zone or areas in the model. The fuel cell consists of four areas, including the current co collector, the flow channel, the porous electrode, and the catalytic area (TPB) layer, each of which is for both the cathode and anodic portions. Thus, according to the symbols already mentioned for naming districts, the area should be defined for the zones in the following headings. You can buy this learning product to obtain a geometry file, mesh file, and a comprehensive training video on how to set up, meaning the pre-processing, solution, processing, and extracting results, which is the post-processing and analysis. For example, in this contour, you can see the velocity distribution on the middle plane in our computational domain, and you can easily see how the velocity has its highest amount in the middle section of two anodic and cathodic channel. And in this slide you can see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and in the middle section of our fuel cell. 
So in this contour, you can easily see how the hydrogen has a higher mass fraction in the upper channel. And after passing the membrane, which is in the middle section of this contour, you can see how the mass fraction of hydrogen has changed from its highest value to its lowest. Here in this slide, you can see the electric potential changes in our computational domain. You can see the changes of electric potential in the middle membrane and how it has changed from the value of 0 0.5 to the value of almost 0. To benefit from Mr. CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcft.com.